G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster down here at this beautiful facility we call Scoob School, right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Love to have you pop down for a class. Just pop over to scoobschool.com, have a look at our schedule. You know who else is here in St. Louis, Missouri? Lockhead Vanilla. And they are the sponsor for this session. Thank you, uh, George and John, the Lockhead brothers. Uh, Darren, who uh, is a wannabe Lockhead brother. Matt is also another one. I want to be Lockhead Brother. Look, I want to be a Lockhead Brother. LockheadVanilla.com. The link is down here. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, I wanted to talk about this session a little bit about temperature and the difference between product temperature and cabinet temperature and why it is important for you to have something like this, a, a digital temperature probe. Because you may set, let's say this is your dipping cabinet looking at the front here and you've got buckets sitting in here. And uh, you might have your product or your cabinet temperature set on, let's say, zero degrees Fahrenheit. Zero degrees. And most dipping cabinets, uh, where you're actually reaching into the bucket, is set at somewhere around this zero degrees. Is that your product temperature? No, 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 it is not. Because if your cabinet here is at zero degrees and your ice cream is left to sit in there day after day, week after week it may get down to zero degrees but if you're rotating buckets through your dipping cabinet your product temperature might be plus five it might be plus eight uh, if you've got something that's relatively heavy in cocoa uh, heavy in caramel uh, heavy in salt which is an antifreeze uh, you might have a product that might be sitting in here at plus uh, nine so there's a difference between what your cabinet is set at and what your product is being stored at. You don't see that any more uh, stronger than you do with frozen custard. If your dipping cabinet is here and you've got some product in here that's a much kind of smaller bucket, well, I shouldn't say smaller bucket, it's four and a quarter gallons but it's more slimline, and you've got a ribbon of frozen custard coming down into this bucket. Frozen custard is coming out of this machine at 18 degrees. This cabinet might be set at plus five degrees Fahrenheit and the product that's sitting here uh, might be sitting at somewhere around 15 degrees. So you've got all of these differentiators when it comes to monitoring temperature. You've got your cabinet temperature, you've got your product temperature and that's why this little guy here is important. Now this is a, a temperature gauge that basically backs up what your thermostat says on your dipping cabinet. So if you've got your product in here, your, your actual dipping cabinet temperature set at zero, this sitting in the bottom of your dipping cabinet should pretty well reflect what the, uh, what the air temperature is or what the, the temperature is here inside the dipping cabinet. If there is a disparity between zero and this reads plus five, then I would get your thermostat calibrated because maybe you're thinking that you're holding product at a certain temperature and you may not be. So always make sure that you're backing up or corroborating your dial here, what you've set your cabinet at with what your cabinet actually is at, and then use a digital probe thermometer to actually determine the temperature of your product because they should be two different things. Not at any stage in your ice cream, your scooping ice cream situation, should your product temperature be exactly the same as your cabinet temperature. If it is, you're going to need a hammer and chisel to get that off. So a couple of different uh, uh, thermometers that you'll need or gauges. This is important to know what your setting is at. Not always visible on a dipping cabinet. You should try and make it a little bit more visible if you can. This should be somewhere in the dipping cabinet to confirm what the setting is. And every now and again, just pop one of these uh, probe thermometers um, into your product to determine what exactly your product temperature is. And you'll find a lot of people who run frozen custard are often using these to actually put into the ribbon as it's coming out of the custard machine just to confirm that the consistency uh, is where it needs to be, which is generally about 18 degrees. Most product that's coming out of a batch freezer or a custard or a soft serve machine will be about 18 degrees. Um, good to record those temperatures, good to have information because we live by the temperature 
temperature gauge, we die by the temperature gauge. Thank you to our episode sponsorship, which uh, again, Lockhead Vanilla, right here in St. Louis. Thank you, lads. And look, if you are a viewer, which I'm assuming you are, otherwise you wouldn't be here, um, and you haven't subscribed, just click subscribe. It's just a little click. It doesn't cost you anything, but it allows us to be able to see how our videos are going. Leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you, your viewers out here. Anyway, keep on skewing, folks. See you in the next video.